Hello and welcome. In this video we are going to take a look at how to install some missing .NET Framework templates. So if you're like me and you've just noticed that Visual Studio has updated to 2022, you are probably rather excited. However, when I went to create a project using the .NET Framework web application template, I couldn't find it. So let's have a look. Web application .NET Framework. And as you can see, the template is essentially missing. What we do have is we have Windows Forms app .NET Framework, which is almost what we want. But what we want is web application. So let me one, try and fix this, and two, show you how to do the same. So first thing you're going to want to do is type in Visual Studio Installer. Let's click on this icon. Now what we are going to want to do is click on Modifier. Assuming you can see Visual Studio Community Edition 2022, click on Modifier. Your, your version of Visual Studio may be slightly different, but essentially we are talking about the same thing here. So let's scroll down and find what we want. So click on ASP.NET and Web Development. And what I want you to do is click back on it. I'm going to go ahead and assume that it was already ticked for you. If it wasn't, then tick it. If it was, untick it and then tick it again. And what we can see on the right hand side here is we've got some extra bits that we can actually go ahead and click, which is useful. I think we're onto something. So what I can see is .NET Framework Project and Item Templates. So I've got a sneaky suspicion this is what we need. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and do this. So let's click on Modify. And of course, we're going to say yes to the user account control pop-up. Hopefully, this won't take too long because I'll probably run out of things to say. With any luck, once this has been installed, what I'm hoping is that we will be able to do a search for a .NET Framework web application. So we can essentially go ahead and create some of the .NET Framework web application templates and projects. Um, specifically, what I was looking for is to be able to create a web forms project. So let's have a look where we are. Updated Visual Studio installer, downloaded, and it's now installing package two of nine. So let's leave this to do its thing, and hopefully it won't take too long. All right, 99%. Hopefully we are nearly done. It is finishing up installing. This might take a while. It's funny, isn't it, how we got to 99% so quickly and it's always that last 1% that takes an absolute age. Cleaning up, well that's nice to know. It's always good when uh, Microsoft clean up once they're, they're finished doing what they need to do. So we are updated, all right? So let's close that. Let's hope this worked first time. So let's click on Visual Studio 2022. You may have a different version. You might have the same issue. This will most likely be the same fix. Let's create a new project. And let's uh, type in web application .NET Framework. And look at that, as if by magic, we have an ASP.NET web application .NET framework. This is exactly what I needed to do a task. Uh, so this is absolutely fantastic. And go ahead and create. So we're creating a project and there we go, web forms. That's exactly what I wanted to create. So uh, I'm hoping this has helped you guys out. If it did, go ahead and like the video because I want people to see this video so I can help as many people as possible. Uh, the more people that like this video, the more chance there is of people seeing this. Uh, likewise, if you want to see similar content in the future, why not consider subscribing? It'd be really cool if you could see future videos. And if you have 
any suggestions, questions or comments in general, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below. I do read all comments and try my best to respond to all of them. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.